What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring a little bell and buy my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. This is um, a collective reading for all signs. Have some sage, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it applies. Everyone has free will. Only pick the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got a channel in, so I decided to go ahead and do this reading. Spirit messages here. Um, the channel I received was. Um, Sorry. Oh, real quick. Thanks for everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb freaking diggity.com. You really, really are. Thanks everybody for the bottom of my heart chakra for all the support. If you love to, um, if you love to, sorry. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. Um, PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Um, so yeah, I just want to let y'all know that real quick. Okay, so the, um, the channel I received was, um, uh, tarot card watching, um, I'm sorry, tarot card reading, tarot card readings are about to be at an all time watching level in certain communities very soon. So you plug it in, however that resonates, um, that's pretty strong. So tarot card readings, um, are about to be at an all time watching level, um, is what I'm presuming from that message and in certain communities very soon. So you plug it in, however that resonates in your life. Um, so tarot card readings. So readers, readers are about to be at an all-time high, a watching high. So in certain communities. So certain communities, this could be your community or somebody's community you're connected to. It sounds like many people in the community or communities, because it sounds like it's more than one community, um, is about to really, really be in heavy, heavy watching, tarot card watching, mode soon is what i'm taking from that message um <laughs> wow something must be going on something it might be secret seven getting out of hand again hell i'm just saying just saying um i mean i'm sure there are more hidden cameras out there just for real, for real. i'm sure there are i'm sure there are there are messages here like this. um it might be something else it might be something else it might be something the reader or readers are saying um that these people, the high, it's causing a high level of people in these community or communities to drive to uh, to drive to these sites, um, to these readers. Now, you know, we the tarot card reading community in itself has really, really changed, especially in the past six months or so. Some some readers use strictly tarot, some use tarot and oracles, some use oracles, some use no cards, some use. Um, um, Vision. They do vision channels. So, I mean, it really all depends on which, what reader you watch, what reader you connect to, what reader you resonate with, um, so on and so forth. So forth. Spirit messages you have to reflect it. Spirit messages you have to reflect it. But, yeah. So, I mean, excuse me. Um, I mean, tarot card reading has really, the face of the tarot card reading community has really changed in the past six months or so. It really, really has. I think it's wonderful that it has. And I mean, for me personally, I think it's wonderful um, because it's really, really branched it out. It's branched, branched out the tarot card community, reading community. Now, you know, everybody has different talents and um, everybody has different talents and skills in the tarot card reading community. Some clear audience, some clairvoyant, some clear sentient, some psychic medium. Um, abilities you plug it in how it fits some just um some don't have those abilities some are just intuitive and they um read cards intuitively and that's okay that's okay i mean everybody has different skills abilities and talents whether they were blessed from the spirit world or they're just highly intuitive and they um create their own um channel and business by um so, some have made their own creative cards and I think that's a beautiful way to do it as well. I mean, how, and they're very highly intuitive because like I said, everybody has skills, different skills and abilities, but it's, it sounds like it's really helping people and it's about to help really large amount of people in certain communities soon. It sounds like these communities are going through some really, really heavy, tough shiznit and they're trying to find out certain information on person, people, place, family, situation, organization, um, through the tarot card reading community. 
possibly, I'm thinking possibly before they actually contact out certain people or go and do investigations. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling intuitively, I'm feeling investigator energy. I'm feeling investigator energy, police energy, um, or legal energy, possibly, possibly. But you plug it in however it fits. Okay, we have Waterfall Effortless and Evid Flow. I heard um, the um, tarot card watching is about to start coming very, very high, high level in several communities soon. So there's a reason these people in these communities are about to start really, really watching the tarot card reading reader or readers. They're about to start watching. Um, and it, I mean, a lot, a lot of heavy watching uh, and a lot of people, it sounds like, is about to do this. But they're doing it for a reason. So I think something crazy is going on in their community or they're trying to figure out something um, about their community or people in their community, possibly. You... You plug it in how it fits. So effortless. I think that's the energy of um, watching these watching the videos, watching the reader or readers, watching the videos. Effortless, it's connecting. It's resonating with you. If this is for you or somebody you're connected to, it's resonating or it's about to start resonating. It's either, re it's either for some, it might have started just happening. For some, it's about to start happening because, you know, word of mouth, gossip train goes really, really, it spreads like wildfire usually it spreads so i think this is um go gossip train energy for some spreading these this reader or channel or channels or readers effortlessly um to others is what i'm thinking so effortless and the energy of watching these readings um maybe you find a like i said a reader that really fucking resonates with you or you feel um you you know you're getting good information out of them um, or um, it's really happening in your community and location, and it's effortless for you to watch. So that's what I feel from that. Oh, by the way, these are psychic intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. I just want to make that abundantly clear. I do oracle cards, tarot, read, uh, tarot cards, and intuitive psychic messages in my readings. Evan Flo. Really getting a better understanding. Some are about to. Okay. I heard really getting a better understanding and some are about to. That's what I heard. So I, some of you, I feel some of you guys are really getting a better understanding of what's going on in your community, in your location, and the people in your community by watching these readings. Some of you. Now... And some are about to. So I think some of you guys that are already in your community are starting to, are watching these reader or readers or channel or channels. And it's helping you. Some is about to. So I think the effortless energy is spreading the channel or channels or reader or readers around and letting people know, hey, this shit shiznit's really fucking coming true. It's really happening. Um, blasey, blasey, blasey. You need to go check them out. Blasey, blasey, blasey. Um, just for real, for real. I do. So up and down, figuring out, figuring out what reader resonate or resonates with you. Um, figuring out what information is true and correct and what is not. Effortless spreading it around. Because some of you guys, I feel you're doing it now. For some, you're about to spread it. So effortless energy of watching and spreading the channel or channels around. And for some, I don't feel this is just love readings. And I'm just being pro pro. I don't think it's, for some, it could be love readings. But, you know, that's where the, the spiritual community has really changed in the past six months. That's where it's really changed. It used to be all, when I first started watching terror, now, it wasn't all love readings. I started watching terror to figure out what crazy shit was going on in my, my town. Because um, I knew some crazy shit that was going on. Um, so I started watching it to pick up the energy space, but all I was mostly getting was freaking love readings, love readings, love readings, love readings. Um, well, six to nine months, I should say. Um, 
for some, I would get the real, real shiznit. Some I would, but not, not as often as I would get love readings. Now it's like it's shifted. The energy has shifted and there's more real readers than, and I'm not saying love readings aren't real. I'm just saying that's not, you know, there's way more real shit that happens in the world than finding love reconnecting with your twin flame and i'm not downing the twin flame community i'm most, most certainly not i'm just saying there's way more to it than that there's way more to it there's real shiznit happening in the world just real way real way real more stuff than you know finding love um and th that's where the energy is shifted in the spiritual community spirit messages you have to request it and i think it's great i think it's great personally Okay. All right. Number eight, nine, or 12 might be very significant. Eight, nine, or 12. These could be significant numbers in your life in some type of way. They possibly could be ages of you or somebody you're connected to, date of births. They could be passcode numbers, security code numbers, lottery numbers, significant numbers you see on billboards or advertisements. You plug it in however that resonates in your life. Procrastination. I'm not downing the love readings. I'm really not. I'm not downing the love readings. But I do think it's good that the spiritual community is really branched out to, to showcase real world energy, real world happenings. Um, and so in some ways it's done it is by people connecting with the spirit world like me. The messages I get from the spirit world are real world messages. Um, abortion, illegal abortion clinics about to be busted. I mean, prostitution rings in churches and, and companies. I mean, real world shit. Just saying for real, for real. Procrastination. Someone has been putting off spreading the good information, but they're about to in a huge way, a huge way. Okay, so you plug in and help this. This could be yours, you or somebody you're connected to. Heard someone's really been putting off spreading the good information, but they're about to in a huge way. So procrastination, that could be you or somebody you're connected to. They've been procrastinating, I think, spreading these very informative, helpful channel or channels or reader or readers. But I heard they're about to in a huge way. It's really going to help these communities in a huge way. Someone needs to hear this. Okay, I heard it's really going to help these communities in a huge way. Someone needs to hear this. So we have a procrastination card. So if this is you or somebody you're connected to, they've been putting it off. They've been holding the information into themselves, um, like information warning, um, but they haven't they haven't spread it, I think, for strategic reasons. But I heard they're about to. They're about to. I heard from Spirit it's really, really going to help the communities um, in a huge way. So somebody's communities are going through some rough ass shit and i know they are because i've been picking it up in my readings i know i know they have um but i think someone in the community has just been hoarding like information hoarding these channel or channels and not telling anybody in their community but maybe for some of these people if it's you or somebody you're connected to maybe something shocking happens in the community where they feel like they need to share it they need to share it they need to get the information out possibly for some that's what i'm feeling for some and for some, they just want to be good Samaritans, good citizens, and they want to share the information. Um, freedom of speech, baby. Freedom of information. Um, that apps are fucking lovely. So you plug it in how it fits. So procrastination in the past, but not procrastination coming up is what I'm feeling. How teachable are you? Something very, very, very detrimental is about to happen to someone's children that's about to push this in a huge way. Some children on deathbeds. Some will not make it. Oh my God. Some will, but it's going to be a long road. 
some overdoses for these children, some self-harming. Oh my God, whoa, my God. Oh my, OMG, whoa. So you plug it in how it fits. This is serious, oh my God, okay. So if this is for you or somebody you're connected to, oh my God. Okay, so you didn't spread it in the past. If this is for you or somebody you're connected to, you didn't spread these good channel or channels or reader readers in the past for strategic reasons. Um, whether you wanted an information board or just be spiteful or malicious or whatever, I don't know. You, Everybody's life situation is different. But however that resonates, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to. But whoever this is that didn't spread it, they did it for strategic reasons. But I heard something detrimental is about to happen to someone's child or children soon. You have to plug in. It could be your child or children or somebody you're connected to, child or children. Um, for some grandchildren. For some grandchildren. Oh, my God. So, for some, it's their child. For some, it's their children. So, two or more children. And for some, it's their grandchildren. Um, for some, I heard it's overdoses and for some it's self-harming, but it's going it, to, that's the detrimental energy I feel for some of these people. And it's going to be so detrimental, which yeah, overdoses are detrimental and self-harming is detrimental. I heard for some of these children are not going to make it. Some of these children are not going to make it. That's horrible. And for some, um, they will make it, but it's going to be a long road. So either recovery in like a mental health facility or program. If it's drugs or alcoholism, possibly, well, hospital first, then that, I'm presuming. And for some, they won't make it. So it will, they will over OD one too many times. Oh my God, that is terrible. But I think that's what's going to push some of these people to finally spread these person, reader or readers or channel or channels. Oh my goodness. And then it's going to be effortless because, um, it, it's going to have a huge, such a huge power moment, negative power moment in their life. It's going to open their eyes and realize they need to spread the good information and spread the good karma around because somebody's about to get negative, bad karma. Oh, my Lord. Victim consciousness. These people are going to feel very, very, very sorry for themselves, but they're going to have a huge wake up call shortly after. Okay, heard these people are going to feel very, very, very sorry for themselves. They're going to, um, at first, but they're going to have a huge wake-up call after. So, victim consciousness reversed. Um, they're going to feel sorry. For some of them, it's their child. For some, it's their children. For some, it is their grandchildren. Or for some, it is somebody connect, connected to them. It doesn't have to be their child, children, or grandchildren. It could be somebody connected to them. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. But somebody's child, children, or grandchildren, either theirs or somebody they're connected to, about to have an overdose for some, some self-harming themselves, and some they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. So they're either going to hit an artery, slice an artery too deep, or they're going to take one too many pills, or they're going to um, shoot up one too many bangers. I learned banger on here from one of you guys. The term banger, it's an injectable, it's a needle. It's called a banger, and it's a, a banger is an injectable needle with drugs in it, basically. And um, they, the street people call it bangers. I've never heard that term a day in my life, but I learned it from you guys a little little while ago. So maybe they're banging too hard, whatever that means, um, and however that resonates. But um, and then they, I mean, this is horrible. They're obviously around some very low low vibrational people. I'll tell you that. Oh my god! But I heard these. I think the people connected to these children energy is going to feel sorry for themselves at first, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. But then I heard they're going to get a huge wake up call and then they're going to start spreading this reader or readers or channel or channels. And it'll be very effortless because they'll get such a huge wake up call that they probably need to spread the positive karma and positive information and positive knowledge out to others. Um, to help person, people, place, family, situation to prevent children deaths or death, period. That's terrible. This is terrible. Let me see if I hear anything else.
Huge wake up call. Huge. Soon for many. Heavy, heavy, heavy traffic flow. Heavy traffic flow. Okay, I heard um, huge wake up call for many soon. Heavy, heavy, heavy tra traffic flow. Heavy traffic flow. So I think the people that are going to be connected to these children deaths or near children deaths, I feel some of these children are going to end up in the ICU, which is intensive care unit for anybody who doesn't know. It's the highest level of uh, care in a hospital. Um, it's called the intensive care unit, ICU, ICU unit. Um, it's where people are, they're on their last, they're seeing the death angel, basically, in the freaking ICU. Ventilators are very popular in ICU. Uh, people that suffer from dam like PEs, pulmonary embolisms, severe, severe motor vehicle accidents, or severe overdoses to where they're on death's dying door, basically, they end up in the ICU. That is the highest level of care in a hospital uh, for anybody who doesn't know. So I feel these people are either going to end up in the ICU or they will, um, or they're not going to make it. They might end up in the ICU and then it doesn't, it, and then they reach out to the death, death angel. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. This is terrible. Um, so you plug it in however it fits, but I heard watch time is about to be at an all-time high. So something, some horrible detrimental negative tower moments are about to happen to many people involving children in this scenario involving children. And it's about to wake some people up in huge ways. And they're about to, um, the people that basically were hiding this reader or readers or channel on channels about to start spreading them. They're about to spread them. And it's about, it's about to spread them like wildfire in their community to where others can, um, get some healing they can get some healing or some help or some information um to help is what i'm feeling um in here but you plug it in help bits oh my goodness it's going to be very helpful and healing to many okay i heard it's going to be very helpful and healing to many so you plug it in however it resonates and it's going to cause some of these people to call and give and very important information to law enforcement on other people to help put them away as they should be. Okay. Okay. And I heard it's going to cause um, some of these people. So some of these people that are about to get um, information on this reader or readers or channel or channels, terror readers, terror readers um, to they're going to watch these videos and realize they're very helpful and healing. And I heard it's going to bring lots of help and healing to these people. And it's going to basically wake these people's eyes up. And some of these people are going to end up calling law enforcement. I heard on uh, some other people that deserve it. And, um, it's going to help get those assholes that deserve it locked up basically. So you plug it in however it resonates. All right, you guys, I hope this helped for, for, for I can get off of here. I got to wake my kids up for school. Love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And if you think anyone else can benefit, benefit from these messages, please share the videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.